Many people ask me, besides GoodNotes and Notability, is there any app that can truly replace them? I spent a month testing Noteways and a iNote taking app that blew up on Android tablets and has now landed on iPad. Can it really replace GoodNotes? Today, I'll show you a hands-on test. By the way, over the next few months, I'll keep releasing deep dive reviews of different iPad productivity apps to help you find the tool that fits you best. Now, let's start with Notewise. When we launch the app, we see a very clean interface, a navigation bar on the left, and notes, folders on the right. At the top of the left side is Home. Tap here to see notes and files listed on the right. Next is Shared. Tap this icon to view notes that others have shared with me. At that point, we can co-edit the note with the sharer in real time. Notewise also has a market where we can find a wide variety of templates, including notebooks, digital calendars, planners, and more. Here is the trash where we can find files deleted within the last 14 days. A unique feature in Notewise is tags. We can add tags, then place different notes under the same tag to better distinguish and find them. At the bottom, there are some promotional activities. We can share Notewise with friends to earn extra rewards. Next is notifications, which shows prompts for the latest features. Of course, we can tap the question mark icon for more detailed tutorials and information. Then there are app settings, where we can set the language, theme, color, text recognition, default note title, the default page after opening a note, whether to keep the screen on, scroll bar position, toolbar position, link display, alignment settings, password settings, notification settings, and more. Now let's look at the right side. These are some notes and folders we've already created. If we have too many notes, we can use the search box to find notes and folders by keyword. On the right, we also see Cloud Sync status for notes and our account info. We can add important notes to favorites and then find them in the favorites panel. We can sort notes and folders, descending or ascending by last modified time, last opened time, creation date or name. We can also choose to always place folders first. Notes and files can be displayed in list view or thumbnail view. We can select files in bulk to delete, move, export, and more. For a single note, we can rename, lock, move to a folder, duplicate, open in a new window, or delete. We can also drag and drop a note directly into a folder. For a single folder, we can set a custom color, rename it, move it into another folder as a subfolder, or delete it. Tap New Note to quickly create a note. Or tap the plus icon to create a folder, import a PDF, import images, import other Notewise files, and even import PPT, Doc, Markdown, and many other file formats. This is truly impressive. Of course, we can also scan documents directly into Notewise. Notewise's two-entry design for creation is very smart. You can quickly create a note, and you can also create other types of files. After creating a note, go to the page. Double tap the page with one finger to enter full screen. Double tap again to shrink it back. On the left is the page management panel. In the middle is the main note toolbar. And on the right are AI and other settings. Let's start with the main toolbar. On the left are undo and redo. In settings, we can also set gesture shortcuts for undo, redo to make edits even more convenient. Next is finger writing. If we turn this on, we can make simple marks and write with a finger even without an Apple Pencil. Next is the most important tool, the pen. Tap once to select it. Tap again to open pen settings. If we expand the arrow on the far right, we can keep each tool's basic settings pane open by default to adjust parameters more quickly, though it will occupy screen space, so customize based on your needs. The pen types are fountain pen, ball pen, and brush pen, just like in GoodNotes. We can set line styles including solid and dashed, and Notewise offers more dashed styles than GoodNotes. Turn on hold to draw shape to easily create perfect shapes. Turn on scribble to erase to erase quickly by scribbling. We can set pen, thickness, and pressure sensitivity. Increasing stabilization helps prevent shaky lines and makes shape drawing smoother. Of course, we can set pen color use defaults, reorder them, customize colors, or use the eyedropper to pick a color. We can see its fundamentals are already very complete. Although it doesn't offer features like math calculation or spell check like GoodNotes, I personally think its simplicity and lightness are advantages, helping us stay focused on taking notes. Tap the highlighter to select it. 
Tap again to open settings. We can choose straight line assistance. Hold to draw. Always or never. We can also set tip shape and stroke thickness. Compared with good notes, its advantage is adjustable transparency, which is very useful, especially on dark paper backgrounds, where the good notes highlighter can sometimes look too light, while note-wise still performs well. Like the pen, colors can be changed or customized. Tap the eraser to select it. Tap again to open settings. We can choose to erase whole objects or partial objects, similar to good notes or notability. GoodNotes has an extra fine erase option, but unless you're doing detailed art, that extra granularity often isn't essential. We can also choose whether to erase locked objects, adding flexibility. In addition, we can enable auto dismiss for the eraser so that after each erase, it automatically switches back to the pen convener for continuous writing. If we need to erase multiple items continuously, we can turn this off. As for erasable object types, NoteWise allows very flexible selection including handwriting, highlighter, tape, perfect shapes, images, text, tables, etc. Yes, we can even erase text with the eraser, rather than selecting the text and tapping delete each time, like in GoodNotes. Of course, there are basic size settings and a clear page option. The tape tool, like the highlighter, has straight line assistance options. We can also change its pattern, color, and thickness. It's often used to temporarily cover answers or key information when doing practice problems. Note, tap the tape once to make it transparent. You don't have to delete it each time. Next is one of the most powerful tools in any note-taking app to lasso, used to organize notes. Double tap the lasso icon to open its settings. We can choose freeform or rectangle. I usually prefer rectangle. It can include locked shapes or take a screenshot of the selection. Compared with GoodNotes, NoteWise lets us choose whether items must be fully enclosed or partially enclosed to be selected. GoodNotes selects entire objects even when only partially enclosed, which can easily grab overlapping content. NoteWise avoids that. For selected content, we can freely move it, turning messy drafts tidy. We can scale proportionally or freely rotate. We can also change color, line thickness, copy, delete, Copy, cut, lock, and group. A great feature is creating links from any selected content directly via the Lazo Vera handy for associating note content, searching knowledge points, and improving study efficiency. We can reorder layers of the selection, flip, add interesting content to the library for later reuse, or save it as a screenshot. Notewise cannot convert lassoed handwriting directly to text or math but we can use the text box to handwrite and convert to text there. Alternatively, we can copy handwriting and paste this text, which also converts it. NoteWise's Shapes tool is excellent. It offers many options, not only common shapes, but also 3D solids, three axis coordinates, and even function graphs. In addition, we can also edit the vertices of polygons to adjust their shape and style, making our drawings more flexible and detailed. This makes inserting complex math diagrams easy. Like good notes, we can set line type, thickness, color, and fill color. Its drawback is that you can't fill with text inside a shape. But it also has advantages. You can rotate, scale proportionally, flip, and lock shapes. Tap the image icon to insert pictures from the photo library files by taking a photo or by dragging from the web to enrich notes. It also offers an important feature that allows us to crop images and even supports AI background removal, enabling many creative effects. I'm sure this is a feature you'll find extremely useful. The pity is we can't quickly insert fun sticky notes and stickers like in GoodNotes. Next is the text box. Like most note-taking apps, we can set default font size, font, style, alignment, color, and more. One of NoteWise's biggest highlights is insertable tables with multiple editing methods. No more drawing tables by hand, as in GoodNotes. In table settings, we can toggle header row and header column. Set the number of rows and columns, line width and color, and fill color. After inserting a table, we can move it. Drag right to add columns or drag down to add rows. Selecting any column lets us insert a column to the left or right. Rows work the same way. We can set row, column spacing, 
or spacing for a single row column. To restore uniform spacing, simply select all and tap these two icons. We can also merge cells or freely select multiple cells to merge. We can further set line colors, line thickness, and fill colors. A drawback is that you cannot type directly inside cells. The workaround is to insert text boxes or write by hand inside the cells. Notewise's magnifier seems to have a higher zoom factor than GoodNotes, allowing for more precise detail work. As mentioned earlier, we can't find built-in fun stickers in the app, but we can make our own. Use the lasso to capture elements and add them to the library, then pull those assets into notes anytime. Notewise's ruler feature is also a major advantage. We can insert not only a straight ruler, but other types as well. Set exact angles and double tap the ruler to rotate at 90 each time. Notewise also offers recording, which helps capture lectures in class so that reviewing notes becomes more efficient. After each recording, we can find the audio file here to play back, rename, or export. Compared with GoodNotes, the feature set is indeed simpler. It can't record the note-taking process simultaneously, nor trim audio or transcribe to text. Perhaps because its design focuses more on note-taking itself, it simplifies many complex functions. The laser pointer helps with presentations sometimes while screen recording. We can set the pointer color and stroke style. Overall, these tools and features are already very complete for efficient note-taking tables and shapes are especially strong and compared with other note-taking apps. Notewise is more concise and focused. So far, we haven't found a pencil tool, stickers, sticky notes, or a timer, which is a disadvantage compared with good notes. But do you actually use those frequently? Tell me in the comments. Next, let's look at all the icons listed on the left. The first icon returns to home. The second is page management. Tap it to view thumbnails of all pages, helping us quickly locate pages and perform batch edits. For example, add pages to favorites, add to the outline, then find favorites and outline here. We can also duplicate, rotate, and delete pages. Tap the plus icon to add new pages or import PDFs, images, PPT, doc, markdown, documents, or add pages by scanning. At the bottom, we can set where new pages are inserted. Of course, we can also add pages here on the canvas. Tap select to choose multiple pages for delete, duplicate, move, copy, export. We can also drag to reorder pages. Notewise can recognize text in PDFs, scan documents, and images. Enter a keyword to quickly find content within pages. We can also select copy mark specific content. This greatly improves note management efficiency. If we need to switch between different notes quickly, tap this icon to jump among recently opened notes. We can also pin frequently used notes so we can switch between them even faster. Now let's look at the icons listed on the right. Tap the pen icon to switch to reading mode for an immersive reading experience. Tap again to return to editing mode. Next is the most important feature AI. Tap this icon to open AI chat on the left. We can ask it to summarize documents or ask other questions, which greatly improves efficiency when reading documents and summarizing notes, especially when viewing notes shared by others or reading long PDFs. We can even select specific content in the note and ask questions about it. And we can have it summarize the note in a spoken style output, which is very smart. Insights, your go-to podcast for making the most of your digital notes. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of digital pens and their features. In addition, it can generate test questions to check our mastery of key points. Tap the rightmost icon to share notes via link. Or invite collaborators by entering their email, so multiple people can edit the same note in real time. Great for meetings, brainstorming, and classroom sharing. Of course, we can also export notes as PDF, images, or Notewise's native format. There are more options here, such as page jump. We can also set page jump and zoom from the bottom left of the note page. We can also rename notes, lock them, or move them to a specified folder. 
Next is template selection. Among the built-in styles, first choose a size. A3, A4, A5, A7, etc. Or enter a custom size and set landscape or portrait. Color choices are limited to several defaults, but I think they're enough. One thing it does better than good notes is the ability to set line spacing, so you can adapt to different iPad sizes. Otherwise, the same setting displays differently across iPad sizes, making it hard to keep notes consistent. We can also set line width, and I think the thinner the better. There are also study specific and music specific templates. They aren't as abundant as good notes, but that's okay. We can import templates or purchase beautiful ones in the market. After setting a template, we can choose to set it as default, so every new note uses the current template. Next, we can configure Apple Pencil and Gestures. Double tap Apple Pencil to switch between the current tool and the previous tool, or the current tool and the eraser, or the current tool and another specified tool. There is also a squeeze gesture on Apple Pencil. Unlike good notes, which can call up a quick toolbar, here it switches to the eraser. One finger scrolls, two fingers zoom and pan. Long press shows the menu, double tap zooms the page, two finger double tap is undo, three finger double tap is redo. If we're using text input, we can also set keyboard shortcuts. There's a reference table here. Finally, there are other settings, which we already mentioned at the beginning, so we won't repeat them here. One more thing to emphasize, Notewise supports multi-device sync. Content we record on iPad can be viewed and edited anytime on iPhone. As an app well known on Android devices, its experience on iPad is also excellent, and the annual subscription starts at $19.99, which is great value. We may notice that GoodNotes entry price is $11.99, but it doesn't support real-time collaboration. If you need both AI and real-time collaboration, NoteWise's annual price is $29.99, while GoodNotes is $35.99. NoteWise also offers a one-time purchase option for NoteWise Unlimited for $16.99, which grants lifetime access without any recurring fees, while GoodNotes is $35.99. In addition, NoteWise offers monthly subscriptions for more flexibility. You can start monthly to try it out. If you like the experience, switch to annual subscription. In terms of basic features, each has pros and cons. GoodNotes supports more pen-related AI assistance, handwriting recognition and conversion, and tools like stickers, sticky notes, and a timer. NoteWise is stronger in the highlighter, shapes, tables, and ruler. To sum up, if you pursue the most comprehensive feature set and want more pen assistance, GoodNotes remains very strong. But if you prefer a simpler interface and features, want a more immersive note-taking experience, need to make more charts, diagrams, or need better Android device support with more reasonable pricing, then NoteWise is definitely worth a try. The download link is in the description. Go try it and see if it surprises you.